All right, guys. Well, we got the new wind generator. Here's the blades right from China. Um, first off, we'll open up the uh, motor, motor generator. So inside this box, it didn't do so well in shipping. It's kind of crushed in all areas, but we'll see how, how the packing went. A little extra cardboard on top, I guess. That's always good. Oh. And we got the tail. Little tail fin. Ooh, and it's made out of aluminum. Aluminum. A oh, little dent here. I don't know what that dent is from. But, decent piece of aluminum, all powder coated. Not bad. More cardboard. More cardboard. Ooh. Wow, some instructions. Not bad, some instructions. You got the wind generator and this box, box, size of the box is roughly 10 by 18 by 24 inches. So you got this wind generator here. more cardboard on the cone cone all ooh, oh, some nice smelling fiberglass that's fresh resin smell so you got the cone I think this is the weld on flange yeah so the weld on flange, they did inform me prior to um, getting it. They said, ideally, you'd want some schedule, um, schedule 40 or schedule 80, three inch diameter. So that is a three inch pipe. So I actually ended up getting three inch. So that would weld on right there and there's still plenty of space for the bolts and that is going to be the top and i'm going to weld about midpoint here and i'm using angle iron so i'm going to build a tower a four-legged tower and this is inch and a half by inch and a half by three sixteenths thick so that flange is good. And what else do we got in here? Well, there's the generator. I can't really. And there is the blade hub. And what else do we have left? Ah, uh, the front. So you got the blade hub back, and then you got the flange clamp for the front of the blades. All stainless steel bolts. That's good. So there should be four. Yeah, that these are the four for the flange mount to the top of the wind turbine. And... I guess these are more stainless steel bolts. There's some nylocks. And there is the tail. So it has a, a swivel tail. So if the wind gets too powerful, it pushes the turbine out of angle and the tail stays in angle and it prevents it from overspinning. It's just a overspin device so get this thing out of here put some cardboard down
This thing is not like that. Oh, I bet you that's 60, 70 pounds. And there you go, there's the generator. So, now we got the blades up here. And this box didn't do so well either. It's crushed all kind of sideways. But I'm assuming the uh, blades and the, and the tail beam, or boom, whatever you want to call it, is in here. Oh, there's some pretty blades. Wow, look at them. They are thick. Well, the styrofoam didn't do so well in shipping. A little broken down here. But here are the blades. And here's how tall they are. They're up to my... They're up to my shoulder. So that's probably a good five feet tall. That's one. And they smell of fiberglass resin. So here's the next one. There's another one. And here's the last one. I guess there's some, looks like fingerprints or rubber, whatever. Anyway, I was informed that these only came with a fiberglass um, epoxy primer on them. So I was informed that these should be painted whatever color I want. And the only thing missing from the other box is the tail boom. Oh, here it is. So it looks like one by two inch box tubing. Well, it looks like they kind of cheaped out on the welds there. So I might have to fill that up with silicone or something. And there's the pivoting tail, which I was talking about. So this will stay right behind the generator. And if the wind is too strong, the generator is allowed to move off or will get blown off its center. And the tail will remain downstream in the wind. Anyway, so next is, is Getting this screwed together, getting the blades aligned on the hub, and then getting the hub attached to the turbine generator.